This is my fourth update on these cheap eBay TPU inner tubes and I have to say I really like them. They're super fantastic although I've still got my high speed wobbly issue but I'll talk about that later. Yeah I've done about 350k now kilometres and I don't expect to get a puncture. I just don't. I mean the first three videos that I've done there was something up with my pump and I was actually my tyres were at 20 PSI so I mean I could see when I was going up curbs and stuff uh, they were going to be prone to hinge flats but I never at any time got felt that they were going to pinch flat so I think these things are incredible they're much bouncier than beautiful rubber tyres so that even gives you more comfort you know it, all, it feels like suspension really and I would say you know, people are going for tubeless. From what I've seen on the racing pages on the internet, the race bike pages, they're all saying that, you know, that it's almost got the same benefits of uh, tubeless tyres for rolling resistance, lightness, etc. Except that uh, it's more expensive. But they're not more expensive now. I mean, these, these were like £9 for two. Tubulito are expensive, you know, they're like £45 or something. That's the sort of Tesla of uh, TPU inner tubes. Apparently they were the first ones to manufacture them around about 2015. And they're the sort of Tesla of TPU inner tubes. Um, but of course I'm down at the other end, you know. There's another brand called Ride Now, which is uh, a lot cheaper than Tubulito, but not at this sort of price range. The only issue is at high speeds I get a wobble. It's almost like I'm on a clown bike and I'm wondering if it's this. Although I don't really know what it is. It may even be the, the tube, you know, it's it's a bit harder there. Something's made me wobble and it's both the, the wheels. So uh, it seems to be the inner tube. I don't know if that's just an issue with cheap TPU inner tubes or across the whole board. But whatever it is, I love these so much for speed and lightness, all the other benefits. Plus, I mean, I'm not going to say they're totally puncture free, but I totally trust these a lot more than Butyl. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going back. And I'm not going to tubeless either, you know, I just, all that stuff with the sealant, you know, you've not just, it's not just you have to seal this, but you've got to seal under the head as well. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know. And then the sealant dries, so there's just so many much hassle with tubeless. This to me is the answer for, uh, I don't know, decades because it's so light. Another thing is that Beale's just so awkward to work with, you know, when you're fitting them and that. But this is just super slidey and super thin, you know, it's just so easy to put in a wheel. I'm not going to say you can do that with every wheel. I've just been lucky here, I think, but uh, for me it's just so easy. I mean, this is like, as if it's a bit overweight and you need to squash it in and stuff, you know, all that sort of stuff. I mean, it doesn't, it's not got the same sort of bendiness as Beetle. You know, it's quite strict how far it'll bend, but I mean, everything so far for me has been a bonus. So it's got a this, Different feel to be all. I mean, at slow speeds it feels like two super light basketballs, you know. You're going over every, everything on the track as if you're in good suspension. But uh, in a way it's weird because I feel every, you know, every groove in the, in the even, especially in new roads, funnily enough, you know, new tarmac roads, like that road from Inverugles to uh, Tarbit has been retired. I could sort of feel bump, 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 bump. You know, but it wasn't bad though, but it's just, I don't know, is, it, is that me feeling all the all the bumps in the road that you normally don't feel in, in a car or a thing? Because when you go over that bit in a car, it doesn't make a sound anymore because I've not got any stones in our end. But, so, it's low speeds you've got the sort of suspension and it's, it's like super light basketballs and it's really zippy, you know, especially moving away. When you move away, you can really notice it. And also because 
This is 90 grams lighter than my butyl tyre, so with all that centrifugal force, there's 90 grams less, you know, and this is about 28 grams. So, yeah, it's sort of, you can feel the acceleration, especially going downhill and all that, so. As I say though, at high speed, speeds it's got a wobble, and I, I don't know what it is. It's just an annoyance really, but uh, maybe professionals wouldn't like it and that, you know, but I don't mind it, because of all the benefits I'm getting. Plus I feel like they're puncture indestructible, even though they aren't, really. But, uh, so I don't know if it's this. Although you get them in butyl tires as well, you know, because that's sort of where they seal it up. I don't know if you get it in more expensive TPU inner tubes, you know, but, or I don't know if it's this bit here, because that's a bit harder than the rest of the tire, you know, tube. Um, I don't know. So, but actually, what I'd describe is like a supersonic clown bike. You know, that's what it feels like. Because it feels like your wheels are a bit oval shaped when that happens. But at the same time you're going at supersonic speed. I, mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if somebody won the Tour de France on a supersonic climb bike. In my last three videos I was going about 20 PSI because there was a gap here in my electronic pump. And I was letting Audi hear it. So, but to go at 20 PSI like I was doing on gravel and that, and uh, I never... I went over one of those grills that keep the sheep out in that and I never felt that I was going to get a puncture or anything and I didn't. I fixed this by the way with an o-ring. That was a problem. So this time I went out with these at around about 80 psi and I have to say for me anyway, the higher the pressure in any of these things the more comfy it feels, you know, suspension wise. It's just, you get that bounce because it bounces, it bounces like a a basketball really. I'm just checking this now. It looks as if I've lost the area. I mean it's down at 40 psi. And I'm wondering if they sort of these ones I've got sort of lose here like latex ones do, you know, just naturally. It's not going to affect your race, but it means I mean you may need to pump them up once a week or something. I don't know. Cause I think these ones are super thin, you know, they're only 28 grams, they sort of I think the Tubulito regular ones are about 35 grams or 38, so these may be even thinner, which might mean that the air gets out of them, but not, not when you're out in a journey or anything, I mean over the week or something. Latex and the tubes are known to do that. Here's a beautiful with a bit of air in it. Maybe, maybe this is where you would get a wobble on this, although I don't really recall. Is this where they seal up beautiful ones? I don't know. Yeah, it's because sometimes you get this in a beetle. I think you get that on the other one as well, the, the TPU, but... Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that wobble, you know? Supersonic clean bike, high speed wobble. But uh, I don't mind, there's just too many benefits with it. Alright guys, that's it. That's it. It's all over. I'm all in. TPU tubes. Probably until death. Unless they come up something better than tubules. Rain from this time. Rain from this you idiot.
Ну, Телотония. Конечно, да. И вообще вот тут уже не клона. Какие-то А меня бросает.